Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to design and how to add custom middleware in ASP.NET Core. So uh, someone asking me sir how to design and how to create a custom middleware in ASP.NET Core and uh, how to use this custom middleware as a pipeline in ASP.NET Core. So this is the very the easy step you can do uh, to, uh, to design a custom middleware and also use this in the middleware pipeline. So first of all, right click on your project uh, and just click on add and here we have the installed template. There is installed template and in, inside the installed template you have to search like middleware. And when you uh, just search the middleware, uh, it's middleware is just like a class you can say. And uh, in the whole things about the middleware, I just uh, describes in the detail section. Uh, so first of all, you can take any name of about the middleware. Okay, okay, so uh, this is the very easy step you can do uh, in the middleware. Okay, so here we have uh, you you have to add middleware. In the middleware, you have uh, you you can see that request delegate with the next request and invoke method, and also here we have a, a static uh, extension method, custom middleware extension. Uh, use custom middleware looking like that, and that is the type of I application builder. You can say so uh, by using this steps you can you, know, you can easily create the custom middleware if you are using custom middleware and I uh, I'm going to a basic example about the uh, custom middleware so here we have so just you can use a logger file and generate a log information about the custom middleware and this is actually hit uh, first time so you can say if you are if you know about the custom middleware middleware is software embedded in the app pipeline that process requests and responses ASP.NET Core provide a rich set of built-in middleware component but in some scenarios you may need to write custom middleware okay so a custom middleware component like an any other .NET class or the invoke method however the constructor needs the request delegate type parameter to execute the following uh, middleware in order okay so this this is the steps simple you can create the custom middleware okay so here we have the i logger file uh, underscore logger logger dot create logger custom middleware and when you hit that custom middleware that log information will be saved into your log information so underscore logger uh, dot create logger custom middleware wait underscore logger dot log information and here we have the custom middleware just write it uh, simple steps custom middleware if you want to uh, if you want to any you uh, any thing you want to use as a uh, middleware pipeline then you can use custom middleware okay and lots of thing uh, we will described in the custom middleware because of mr uh, you know that middleware is also a like class so the basic simple example the log information uh, is created now how to use this custom middleware like uh, application builder you know that uh, so use just after app uh, builder dot build method you can use app dot use custom middleware okay because the extension method name is use custom middleware and just pick that uh, there is the class there is a static class and there is a static uh, extension method use custom middleware just copy that and paste it here so by using simple uh, steps to create and use a custom middleware. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and lots of videos I will provide about uh, projects and uh, lots things about uh, lots of things about uh, ASP.NET Core. So don't forget please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest videos about uh, ASP.NET Core dotnet core and uh, new technologies comes in uh, in my mind okay okay and uh, please 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 don't forget please subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching this video